Feel Good Friday. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, David. David, you're doing an amazing job in the co-host chair, my brother. Thank you. Appreciate it, Mark. Yeah. Long time no speak, right? That's right. You and I? That's right. Oh. About 10 hours? It's been 10 hours. You yeah. guys know each other. <laughs> that's right, Rob. So that's what I'm feeling good about. You yeah. serendipitously have one of my referral partners in studio with you. And, you know, we've talked about referral partners. What's a referral partner, right? We're not in business per se together, but we support each other's business. And and David, with his reverse mortgage specialty, comes in really handy with a lot of our clients. And, and this week, with a lot of our other referral partners, because you know... Rob, that we have a real estate school where we teach continuing education courses to real estate professionals, real estate agents mm -hmm. and brokers. And one of the curriculum options is reverse mortgage. So this week, David is blessing us with his presence on our Zoom continuing education class on reverse mortgage. So this uh, okay. Wednesday, we're going to be teaching together. So yesterday, we were doing a, a dress rehearsal, if you will. And... Um, we're looking forward to talking about it because, you know, we, what we do at the school, as you know, Rob, is, is we try to raise the level of professionalism, right? So what does a reverse mortgage necessarily mean to a real estate professional, right? Mm -hmm. They may not think that this is something that would be a good tool in their tool chest, right? They might not think it really applies to them, but coming to a course like this, they realize that not only does it make them a, a more holistic professional and being able to explain things that don't necessarily revolve strictly around real estate, but they have that balance with financial advice and estate advice and, and mortgage knowledge, but there are things that a reverse mortgage would apply directly to a real estate agent, and you could actually purchase a home with a reverse mortgage, which a lot of real estate agents don't know, so that's going to be yeah. interesting for them. But my favorite, and I want David to just jump in a little bit on this, is the financial strategies that a reverse mortgage uh, allows for people to do to balance things through. So David, help us out here. People use this as a financial tool, not simply cash poor need equity out of their home in order to live right yeah that's correct mark i mean when i started in this business 17 years ago <coughs> most clients were house rich cash poor so it's go through your savings then consider a reverse mortgage as a last resort mm -hmm. now that switched to about 50 percent of my clients have money and they're using this as a financial planning tool so the way it works is a, re a reverse mortgage is a way to access equity in your house and you have to be 62 or older, so most people accessing the equity through a reverse are retired okay. for the most part. So they might already have savings, and they also have their house. So their house is part of their net worth, and it's a way to add to their portfolio, but it's in the form of equity through a reverse, because when you set up a reverse mortgage, there's no monthly mortgage payment. So we can structure the reverse mortgage as a line of credit and so that, the way that line of credit works is a tool, that, which Mark was just talking about, is it's a way to set something up. I call it a buffer asset. So you set this reverse mortgage up, put all the money in a line of credit, and it sits there. So you can use it for any purpose, but let's just say someone has between 500000 and a million dollars in their retirement portfolio, and that suffers losses. So this could be a way to, while the, that portfolio is going downward, not draw from it, while it's going downward and sell those proceeds at a loss and potentially be taxed on them, but now start drawing from the buffer asset reverse equity line of credit during that time mm -hmm. as a tool so you can toggle back and forth. And then when, and when you pull the money out of the line of credit, there's no monthly mortgage payment and it comes out income tax free because it's loan proceeds. You're borrowing it. You're borrowing. Yeah, so it's not income taxable. So you can really you know, use it as a tool to hedge against your adjusted gross income instead of drawing all the money from your portfolio. And so Mark's right, it's a financial tool, and that's what inspired me to get in the business was this mm -hmm. aspect of a reverse mortgage. Hmm. So Rob, you could imagine that this is knowledge that our real estate professionals would love to have, and they don't know it's available, but this Wednesday on Zoom, as long as the real estate agents are part of our exclusive Facebook group, at real estate the real estate school at 892 on Facebook they can find us there and that's where the school is hosted and it's virtual so Wednesday from 11 to 1 
David and I are going to be teaching that, and it's, it's, it's being advertised on his social pages and our social pages. But if you're a real estate agent or broker or you know somebody, let them know this Wednesday, October 6th, from 11 to 1, we're going to be teaching all of this and much more in a platform similar to what you just heard. It's going to be a Q&A back and forth, almost, almost like a podcast through education, for education. Wow, that's great. All right.